Now, your 41 NBC AccuWeather forecast, presented by Volume Chevrolet. Lovely sunshine for us in Dublin right now. Let's see how things are feeling. 86, but it feels like 90. The wind out there calm, not doing us any favors. Again, today's UV index is an 8. If you're spending a lot of time outside, please make sure to wear sunblock as well as stay hydrated. Here are the highs and heat indices for the day. I think these heat indices are probably underestimates based on the fact that we're seeing five to six degree differences right now. We'll probably be seeing three to four degree differences later on. So I mean, you can tack on another two to three degrees on almost all of the, I'd be putting Macon close to 96, 97 and other spots like Warner Robins close to about 98. So definitely a hot afternoon. Luckily not too humid for us and we should see wind pick up a little bit more as we head later into today, especially in terms of the gusts up to about 15 miles per hour. Unfortunately, not a constant flow that'll help to really make things feel better, uh, but it's at least something. Uh, we don't have much cloud cover at all overnight tonight. Wind is going to shift to the south. It's not going to do much. You see those numbers are very, very low. Why is that significant? It's just enough to bring a little bit of moisture, but when you don't have any wind overnight, you don't get your different layers of air to mix. And that is how you get fog in the morning, mainly radiation fog. And we'll likely wake up to plenty of that tomorrow. So be ready to have to defrost your windshield we'll to be able to see as well. Then as we head into the afternoon with a cold front coming in, that wind's going to come out of the northwest. That's going to bring in dry, cooler air. However, we will get a little bit of cloud cover. You do see some showers to our north. More than likely, we are not going to end up seeing any rain out of this cold front tomorrow whatsoever. But if you've got overnight plans for your Friday, yeah, I mean, or Thursday night into your Friday, you might want a sweater there. You'll definitely want one if you're going anywhere Friday night with that wind coming in from the northeast and lows into the mid 50s. Tonight's lows are going to be mid to upper 60s. Wouldn't be surprised if they're a couple degrees warmer than what you see there. We're going to quickly breeze through some tropic stuff. Fiona is an absolute monster. Respect to Fiona, category four storm, 130 mile per hour winds. We don't need to worry about it. It is out of our hair. This is Gaston. It's a mess. I don't know what it's going to do, but it's far away. Don't need to worry about it right now. Unless it loops back around, we're probably not going to need to worry about it whatsoever. What's this? We'll come back to that in just a second. Oh, we got these two little areas here. This is going to go north. Don't need to worry about this. This has 20% chance to form. Don't need to worry about that right now. This will be a threat late next week. It's going to migrate towards the Caribbean and then towards the Gulf of Mexico, at which point it's expected to turn north. Where it's going to go, we don't know, but one of the mile runs does take it into Georgia next Friday. Coming up in, se in 10 seconds, we'll have your uh, seven day forecast. At Volume Chevrolet, good oil changes for life, plus a 20 year, 200,000 mile warranty. Visit Volume Chevrolet, I 75 exit 187 in Forsyth. That's volumechevrolet.com. Your 41 NBC AccuWeather 7-day forecast is brought to you by Volume Chevrolet. It is a sunny forecast for us. So to answer your question, we have no adverse weather in our next seven days. We don't have anything unless that uh, tropical system does end up coming here late next week. Tomorrow's the first day of fall. Not going to feel like it up to 96. Friday will greet us with a little bit of a taste of fall there up to 83 for the high. We'll warm back up over the weekend. 10% chance for rain Sunday evening. We'll keep it in the 80s in the next week.